Hey everybody, Troy from the very wet, do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Raining on and off all day, sometimes extremely heavy, sometimes not so heavy. But uh, this is what we got. I'll show you what I've been doing. Got Michelle here helping out. Hi Michelle. Say hi to everybody. Nope, she's just happy ignoring me. I got the wood stove going and uh, we got very hot steaming potatoes on there boiling. Look at that, they're boiling good. Potatoes are boiling, and we got dinner cooking. We've got uh, zucchini, garden zucchini casserole from our garden. We've got acorn squash seeds in the bottom tray, which are almost done. Flip that around so they cook evenly. Yeah, they're just about done. You can pull them out in a few minutes. So we're using the oven. And uh, we're going to have some garlic bread on here along with our casserole. And uh, the potatoes, I guess, are for tomorrow. And the uh, seeds are for whenever. We washed them, salted them, and then pop them in here. And we'll have a nice tasty snack. And I think she's got some cakes and who knows what else going on. So we're using this stove really heavily here. And I believe this is going to be really, really a big part of the homestead now. Oh, by the way, these are cutoffs from the wood pile down out back. The all the logs out back, um, they're just about six inches too too long when I cut them to fit our wood stove, and the cutoffs are perfect for this wood stove. Now, obviously, I have some bigger ones. I have to split them though. That's about the biggest you want to put in there at any given time. So I'm burning scrap, which is great. Uh, I'm stacking the firewood up. This is just a couple loads so far. Uh, been raining heavily, and uh, we've been cooking and doing other stuff. Anyway, stacking the wood pile, and I'll show you. I also moved and sorted all the wood pile that needs to be split. I opened this up so we can use the driveway if we want. It was getting filled up and congested with logs, and I'm hauling out the ones that are small enough to go up front in the burn pile to be used this fall. Um, taking them up front and the bigger ones I'm putting over in this pile to be split it's an ever increasing it's a six foot tall pile of logs now to be split so it's a constantly growing pile of logs and widening out I've got more to add to it I've got a lot more in the woods but that is a massive pile growing for us now all that most of that stuff I'll take out what will burn and like I said the rest is going to go in this stack Anyway, that's what I've been doing, just working on firewood again. All right, well, they're done, but they uh, almost burnt. I got them just in time. I've been out hauling wood and stacking wood while these are cooking. I'm trying to multitask, but oh, they're good, I think. They're going to make a nice crispy snack. Nothing wrong with them. I'll let them cool down, and then we'll take them in and put them in a container. Now... Melanie just brought out a cake mix. Um, it's an apple cake mix of some kind that I put in the bottom tray. The top, we're going to cook that out until some of the moisture comes out. That's pretty much ready though as soon as that moisture is out. Potatoes are done, so I'm going to pull them off. Hi, Melanie. Oh, right. They see you for the first <laughs> time in a long time and you make that face. What's this? Is this run sauce. For the potatoes? Yeah, for for the tomorrow. Potato All right. Now I've got to keep an eye on the oven. Make sure we don't overcook. Oh, look at that rising. Okay, it's a little bit off center though. I think I'm going to flip it around. Um, we're off balance. And the zucchini is really cooking. The zucchini is edible, but I just want to cook off some of the moisture. What do you think? Um, just don't overcook because it's going to be mushy. Mushy? Okay. Oh, e okay, there we go. Oh, that's sort of moist yet. It's awkward. All right, there we go. See if that'll cook flat. We are really using this thing, and it's just a little handful of uh, branches and garbage wood. What do you think, Melanie? Cool. Okay, cool. Well, I've been out stacking wood. She's got rice cooking now, and 
We got, oh, the cake is ready to come out. Yep, cake's gonna come out now. She had to squash out. Well, there we go. Uh, been cooking a lot of stuff on here. You like that? Is that kitten funny? Huh? Is that cat funny? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that cat's funny, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Kittens are goofy. Hmm. Well, it's growing. I've got to get that load on, and I've got one more left. And that'll be it for the um, smaller pieces. And I've got a growing pile of pieces to be split. But I won't be happy until I have six of these piles up here. So I still got to get out in the forest and drag in all that's out there. I'm working on a plan for hauling that in better. Uh, getting a trailer hitch on the car and getting a trailer. Um, out in the woods and haul my wood. Well, that's it. That's the end of that pile. Oh, it's exhausting. It's so humid. I'm sopping wet from the humidity. Of course, it's raining too, but I can feel the humidity is just, ugh. But surprising how long that takes when you're cooking as well at the same time. I'm mostly tending the wood stove. Well, that's it, guys, for now. I've still got a lot more in the woods i got to bring out that I cut the other day, and I'm going to keep on going. But that's pretty much, I think, going to be it for the day. Um, I might show you what we got for our meal inside later on. Um, rice is still cooking. Cake, I don't know if that's for today or tomorrow, but whatever. We'll see. Well, guys, the rice is done. Um, unfortunately, somebody, we won't talk about what happened here but move the cake up to the top and um, it burnt I put it back in the bottom the squash the casserole we put on the bottom just to keep warm and I'm cooking some uh, garlic bread here um, toasting some garlic bread and then that'll be it and we'll have dinner mere minutes I slid it over here but I don't think I had to I mean I literally just slid it over and Flip the bread and boom, it's done. I might slide it, slide it back where it was. This is going to go nice and quick. Wow, look at that rain coming down. Heavy, heavy rain. I'm sort of stuck for a few minutes inside the uh, porch and our food is almost done. Look at that, guys. Look at it. Beautiful. It took mere minutes. Now we're going to go in and eat some food. Well guys, this was all my idea, 100% my idea. And by the way, that's homemade spaghetti sauce from our tomatoes from last year. From our own garden, homemade. Zucchini, uh, summer squash from our garden this year. And uh, cat cheese, freshly pressed. That was a joke. And homemade, fresh garlic butter toast. <laughs> We're going to enjoy some dinner. It's Troy from the Do-It-Yourself World and the Off-Grid Project. Please do like, subscribe, and share. And follow our daily videos as we strive to become self-sufficient and fully off the grid on a budget. Guten Appetit.